According to the latest announcement of the US IRA Act at the beginning of 2023, the specific details of the Act will be given around March 2023. In other words, there is a three-month buffer period before the official implementation of the new US bill, but it can already be seen that the US has an obvious intention to desinicization. Then, whether Europe, which is second only to China's new energy vehicle market, will follow up is very important for the future development of China's new energy vehicle industry. In today's video, we will mainly do a detailed and in-depth analysis of whether Europe will really follow US policy, how much impact Europe will have if it follows up, and how strict the restrictions may be. Ok, let's take a look. First of all, in my opinion, there is a high probability that Europe will not follow the US bill restrictions. On the one hand, unlike the United States, which has traditional energy resources such as shale oil, Europe has encountered an energy crisis after the Russia-Ukraine conflict, causing Europe to lose 30% of its oil and 40% of its natural gas. This also makes Europe pay more attention to the development of new energy. At present, Europe is clearly committed to promoting the development of renewable energy, especially photovoltaics, energy storage and new energy vehicles, so as to accelerate energy transformation and end its dependence on Russia's fossil fuels. Based on China's advantages in the entire new energy industry chain, there is a high probability that Europe will not follow the pace of the United States in a short time. Secondly, although the new energy vehicle markets in Europe and the United States are currently one of the largest markets in the world, there are actually differences in the promotion process of new energy vehicles between the two. Strictly speaking, the progress of Europe and China is close, while the United States is actually lagging behind. Therefore, the new energy vehicle industry in Europe, which is already on the right track, actually needs more power batteries and the support of related battery materials to maintain the rapid development of its new energy vehicles. 1. The gap between US and China in sales and penetration of new energy vehicles. First of all, in terms of the sales volume and penetration rate of new energy vehicles, the Chinese new energy vehicle market is used as the control group. The sales volume of new energy vehicles in China from January to October 2022 is 5.28 million, with a penetration rate of 24%. The new energy vehicle market in Europe is basically composed of the five traditional automotive countries of Germany, France, the United Kingdom, Italy and Spain, and Norway, Sweden and the Netherlands. In the first 10 months of 2022, the sales volume of new energy vehicles in these eight European countries was about 1.5 million, and the penetration rate was around 20%. Monthly sales of new energy vehicles are around 800,000, and the penetration rate of new energy is less than 7%. 2. The gap in the competitive landscape of the new energy vehicle industry. Secondly, judging from the competitive landscape of the new energy vehicle industry, the United States is still dominated by Tesla. From January to October 2022, the sales of Teslas for models accounted for more than 55%, starting from the second and third places, Ford, Hyundai, Kia, etc. accounted for less than 8%. Although other car companies have also launched many powerful models, the distance between other new energy car companies and Tesla is still very large. In contrast, the new energy vehicle markets in China and Europe have a much more balanced proportion, showing the effect of full competition in the new energy vehicle market. Judging from the proportion of wholesale sales of new energy passenger vehicles in China from January to October 2022, even BYD which ranks first, is only about 28%. The same is true in Europe, where Volkswagen's ID Series models surpassed Tesla several times to win the monthly sales champion, followed by popular models from car companies such as Renault and Hyundai. Other major established car companies in Europe, such as BMW, Mercedes-Benz and Audi, have already determined the specific time to stop selling fuel vehicles, all before 2030 so they will definitely increase their efforts in the field of new energy vehicles in the future. 3. 
the gap in the driving force of new energy vehicles. Finally, China has basically completed the process of changing new energy vehicles from subsidy-driven to market-driven, and then completely product-driven. 2022 is also the last year of subsidies for new energy vehicles in China, and the high sales growth of new energy vehicles since then is entirely due to the huge demand of the market and consumers. Similarly, Subsidies for new energy vehicles in some major European countries have also begun to decline significantly or even be cancelled. Among them, European countries such as Germany and France have introduced reduction plans, ranging from 20% to 40%. Judging from the US IOA bill, the US new energy vehicle market is still in the stage of subsidy increase. Some local new energy car companies still need to obtain new energy vehicle subsidies to stimulate their own competitiveness and development. The IIA Act of the United States will obviously have a certain impact on the overseas development of China's lithium battery industry. If Europe also introduces a similar policy, it basically means that the current overseas expansion strategy of China's new energy vehicle industry will further increase the difficulty. Because from a global perspective, except for the two major new energy vehicle markets of Europe and the United States, the sales of new energy vehicles in other countries account for less than 5%. In addition, Chinese power battery manufacturers and material manufacturers have basically temporarily stopped the progress of building factories in the United States, while their plans to build factories in Europe have increased. For example, CATL decided to build a factory in Hungary in August. So the attitude of Europe is very critical. But another difference between Europe and the United States is that most of the sources of power batteries in the United States are Japanese and Korean companies, such as LG New Energy and Panasonic, and the overall power batteries of Japanese and Korean manufacturers account for more than 90%. In terms of new energy vehicles, there are also many new energy vehicle companies whose final assembly is not completed in the United States, such as Kia in South Korea, Toyota and Honda in Japan, Mercedes-Benz and BMW in Europe, and so on. This is why South Korea, Japan and many European countries took the lead in expressing opposition to the US IRA bill. In fact, European countries have already begun to increase their efforts to develop local power battery manufacturers, such as Northvolt in Sweden, Verka in France, Britishvolt in the United Kingdom, Freya in Norway, and Italvolt in Italy. The self-sufficiency of power batteries, but the corresponding supporting manufacturers of the four upstream materials and auxiliary materials of power batteries, in fact, Europe has not kept up with it. Therefore, even if Europe introduces a battery whitelist policy in order to support local power battery manufacturers, it will not be as serious as the US IRA bill that restricts all the way. Because Europe needs to develop new energy in order to get rid of energy problems, and the local new energy industry, especially battery manufacturers, also depends on Chinese material manufacturers. Okay, that's all for today. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.